Hi everyone, welcome to Fisher MN or welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about fall fishing. Fall fishing can be great. Maybe it's a water temperature change, maybe on a river it's a water level. Whatever it is, if you find the fish in the fall, chances are you're going to get a lot of them and big ones. Well here in Minnesota, fall has been a little bit tough. The weather got cold right away. Some of the usual places that I go didn't pan out this year. So I'm digging into the archives. I had a great fall smallmouth trip and I only produced the morning of fishing and I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check that one out. I kind of did a pop-up video where I showed all the fish that I caught and then I just put text on the screen. It was kind of before the days of green screen. This video is the night portion of that day along with some even older footage from the year before when I had first got my kayak. It's kind of neat to see how both my kayak changed and also how the GoPro cameras have changed. Those first GoPro cameras I used, the sound wasn't very good because they had a waterproof casing around them and the quality wasn't super great even though at the time it seemed super great. It's nice how things kind of evolve. So due to the fact that the audio wasn't so great in the early days of GoPros, I decided to put some music in the background rather than hearing the banging and clicking that um, was pretty much the only audio on the camera. You can see on the front of my kayak that I have a lean bar. I was insistent on getting that when I bought my kayak, but after about a year, it was gone. Hobies are so stable, they're easy to stand up and fish on, even without a lean bar. So there's the old net. I switched over to a rubber net so I could spend more time fishing and less time untangling hooks out of the net. The best lure we've found for these cold water conditions on the river is a simple crankbait. Four to six foot diving and various colors have worked. Most often just a natural kind of minnow color has been the best for late in the season, especially on the river that I was fishing. One of the amazing things about the GoPro cameras is the sound, I kind of mentioned that before, but also the stabilization. I didn't have the camera mounted so great on the hat that I was wearing, and you can see the up and down and shaky camera, something I try to avoid in most of my videos. But early on, you learn as you go. And so it's just so nice that the cameras have evolved to where they're super smooth, and also the sound is great. I tried to cut out some of the bumpiness when I made this part of the video.
So here's the nighttime portion of that great day I had on the Rum River back in 2015. Wow, what a day. I caught almost 40 smallmouth bass that day. And it was a water level thing and a water temperature thing. It all just kind of clicked together. And it was a great day on the Rum River. As you can see, I had moved to a two camera system, which is kind of nice because I was still getting used to the hat cam and the front cam and trying to sync them up. And so some, some of the fish are just on the front camera, some are just on the hat camera. But overall, I was able to document most of the fish that I caught.
so hard to leave on a day when you've caught so many fish. Um, it was just great to be out there that day and I have never had such a ripped up thumb from catching bass as I did for the next week. But that's a good reason to have a ripped up thumb. I actually went back the next morning before work and put on the old waders and fished from shore a little bit and caught another three smallmouth bass. It was just hard to pass up the great fishing. I'd like to dedicate this video to a friend, Dave Harrela. He was the best fisherman on the Rum River that I ever knew. He passed away almost two years ago now, and the river really misses him, and so do the rest of us who knew him. Rest in peace, Dave.